Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make two rustic neutral decor Christmas type trees. One is just literally from scraps of wood and then the other one is kind of inspired from something I saw also at the Findery in Waco. So that one might be a little bit... I'm not sure because I'm making a miniature version. The, the one I saw in Waco is like huge. But I'm making a miniature version just to see how it turns out. I've got my glue gun ready to go. And this one, the first one, like I said, is so easy. So I have one Django block. I have a little tiny part of a dowel that I chopped off from something else. And this is actually a scrap of wood of a realtor that was at a new build, my client's new build. And I said, hey, can I take some of this scrap wood? And they were like, sure. So now it's going to become a Christmas tree. All I'm doing is, I'm not even going to use wood glue for this one, but I'm just going to put a little dab on the bottom in the middle, in the middle-ish, and I'm going to glue this dowel on there. Hold it. Hold it for a second. And then I'm going to take this Jenga block, and I'm going to put a little dab of glue right in the center of that as well. And there you have a little Christmas tree. So I'm going to let this firm up and dry up because, quite honestly, it's looking a little rickety. So I'm pressing these two together just to kind of make sure we've got a little bit of a hold. This is not meant to withstand any type of great force or anything like that. It's just a little thing that I'm going to put on my tear tray. It's just a scrap piece of wood on the top, a little bit of a dowel, and then a Jenga block. And now you have just a rustic Christmas tree. So I'm going to put this on my tear tray and I'll show you guys how I style that in another video. For this project, you're just gonna need some dowels. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how many come in a pack, but there's plenty that come in a pack. And you're gonna need three for the tree. You're gonna glue these together. You're gonna need one, cut it down to size, and I'll explain that in just a second, but you're gonna cut it down, and that's gonna be for the bottom. Then you're gonna need some Jenga blocks because this is gonna become the base of the tree that we're doing and then you need a popsicle stick and I just cut it off the bottom because it's going in the base this is going to be covered up by the tree you won't see a thing and finally you'll need some twine or jute rope whatever this is called to start off I'm going to glue the three three Jenga blocks together and just putting a little little dab will do ya don't need a whole lot of glue because it it creates a little bit of a gap if you use too much and you just don't need that much oops and I'm also it'll ooze out if you put too much like this just did and I'm starting to glue to the bottom to my little table thing here but I'm just putting them together just like so they don't have to be perfect and then you're going to create this little cube square shape now I'm going to be gluing these three dowels together and this is the little bit tricky part because I'm going to be gluing them like this okay and so I have to push this one up just a tad so that it, it lines up across the bottom because I'm putting a dowel across the bottom. I'm having to, <laughs> I'm just having to be careful because, first of all, I don't want too much glue on here. I don't want it glue into this little piece of cardboard that I have on my desk. But I've got to work quickly because I want them to be even, even Steven. And now, <laughs> so I have these glue. I don't want to lift them up just yet because I want them to have a little bit more time to stay together. Stay together right now. Now I'm gonna glue the bottom on. <laughs> this is tricky. I glued these three together and then I remembered I actually need two dowels because you put one on the front and one on the back. But first, I need to glue on this popsicle stick. I don't know why I can't say popsicle stick. Did you see me hesitate? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna glue that into, into, onto the middle one and leave it long enough because that's going to become our trunk of our tree. So I think I'm gonna glue it around there. Just put some hot glue on here. It's probably more than enough. Then I'm gonna glue these two dowels on top, just flipping it over just for a different side. I'm gonna glue it on right across the bottom there. So I'm just gonna put on a little dot of glue on each of these dowels that's hanging down. Glue this down. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna glue the other dowel. So I told you earlier, you only need, you need two of these, the size for the bottom of the tree. So you're just gonna cut it down to size. And I'm gonna glue across there. Somehow this doesn't seem right, but I'm still going for it. That's what I do. Just go for it. You know what? What in life is just perfect? Nothing. 
Okay guys, here we are. I already started winding it and I wasn't liking how it was looking. So what I'm basically gonna do is put a little dab of glue and I'm just gonna start winding around. I'm trying to do it loosely. I'm not trying to, I mean, not where it's so tight knit together where you can't see inside. I kind of want you to be able to see inside a little bit. So there's like some little gaps and things. So I'm gonna start this over again and I'm just gonna kind of talk through what I'm doing. Gluing this to the top again using my little hot tool. Ugh, I just, oh, I don't like the strings from the hot glue. Anyway, who cares? That's down. Now, I'm gonna have a little bit tighter grip to it, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be full coverage, and I want it to look a little messy, if you will. Not so perfectly wrapped around the tree. So let me just try to wrap around the tree really quick and see how it starts to look. So see how it's looking a little, you still can see through it. It's not perfectly covered, but that's what I was wanting. So I wanted it to look a little bit rusted and not so, or I guess primitive maybe. This is how it looks now that I've wrapped the tree and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back here to kind of adhere it and help it to stay in place and not unravel, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. And there we go. Now the only other thing that I'm gonna to add to this tree is a little star to the top. And I'm also going to put some, this uh, twine stuff. I'm, I'm looking at what I wanna put on it. So let me show you what my options are. I have these Berry Garland and it's from the Dollar Tree. It's nine foot. I have it in red and I have it in white. I'm kind of going for more of a rustic look this year, but I do, I, I mean, I like that. But I also, I also like the berries. I think the berries bring a nice deeper pop of color as opposed to the bright red. It's a more subtle color, but I think I'm gonna go with the white. So I also need a star, so hang on. I purchased a bag of stars from Hobby Lobby. It came in assorted sizes, but they're primarily, primarily the bigger size. Should I get the bigger star? I just feel like the bigger star would be like kind of overpowering it. I think the, over, the bigger star is going to overpower it. And it's my tree. So if you do the tree and you're like, no, Lisa, you really should have gone for the bigger star. Then I say, by all means, go for the bigger star. I am going for the smaller star. And so for the base of the tree, should I decorate? Let me decorate now because I'm not sure where this starts at, to be honest. I don't need that much. I feel like it's one of those, like, if you unravel it, you've just messed up, you know? <laughs> so my idea was to take some of this garland and just wrap it around, wrap it around Christmas tree. So it would add a few beads in there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's getting all tangly, all kinds of tangly happening. I'm really surprised I'm not sponsored yet <laughs> with the level of professionalism that I have going on here kind of straighten it out a little bit so that we can wrap it a little bit better. And I don't know that I'm gonna need a whole lot of glue, but I'll put a little, I really try not to use too much glue because I just try not to use too much glue. And I'm gonna let that set for just a second because this is wire, so it should pretty much hold its shape, but I do kind of want it to be not flip-flopping all over the place. Okay, so just this first go around the beads are all primarily on one side. So I don't want that. So I may have to just kind of wrap a little bit differently. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't come off. Here, let's hot glue you down. Don't unravel on me. Since it's not really wanting to lay like I want it to, I think I'm just gonna snip some of these off and then hot glue those where I want them on the tree. That way I'll, that'll take care of that problem, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's not laying where I want to. And I can just kind of tuck it in and just add a little bit of, yeah, I can just tuck it in like that. I'm not sure if I'm liking that, to be honest. These just look like sad little tears or something. So, okay, maybe I just won't put any on, or maybe I'll use those little pom-poms that I had the other day. That might work. Or berries, maybe some berries, because I did like the pop of bread. What about if I put some hot glue and berries on there? No, I think I'm gonna do the pom-poms. I just so happen to have the pom-poms right here. That's what we're gonna do. Keep it neutral, 
Now I've got all these little kinds of, let me hot glue the star on. Is that the front? Yes. I'm gonna hot glue the star on. And then I'm gonna hot glue some of these little pom-poms on. And then you're gonna put it to the base. Put it to the base, put it to the beat. Oons, oons, oons. I don't know where I was going with that. This is looking like some kind of weird popsicle. <laughs> Where's that? Oh gosh. There. That turned out pretty cute, aside from the strings of glue. And I don't think I'm gonna put any pom-pom balls on the back because you're not really gonna see the back. Although I guess I could. But the stars on the front, that's the front. That's all I'm gonna do. So I had glued these together previously, remember? And so I'm gonna set that down and I'm gonna glue a Jenga block on the on the front flush with the bottom of the tree and glue one on the back and then I'm gonna glue that to this base here so let's get to gluing so that's how it's looking so far it's not going to be stable enough honestly just to set it on its own I just don't feel like it's gonna be stable enough so I'm gonna glue all of this to this other base that I have and I'm just gonna put Trying to figure out which do I do first. I'm gonna put some hot glue on here, like so, like that. Then I'm gonna plop that down onto this stand I have here. And that's how my little tree turned out. I showed you two quick and easy ideas today, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much. I know sometimes I kind of fumble through it, but I'm having fun creating something, and I hope you have fun creating something as well. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.